Hello everyone, here's a quick demo of my uh, real-time data dashboard using PubNub and the TI Launchpad. Uh, so here you can actually see some of the data coming through my uh, dashboard. Uh, I use the Eon Code examples as a starting point. Uh, here is the hardware. So I've got the MSP432 Launchpad paired with the Grove Base Booster Pack. And this booster pack allows me to interface with the various um, modules from Seed Studio. In this case, it's a moisture sensor, and that one over there is an ambient light sensor. Um, on top of this is the uh, CC3100 Wi-Fi booster pack. So with these three boards working together, we basically get a internet-connected sensor node. Um, and in this case, we're reading the various sensor data, encoding it into a JSON payload, and sending it up to the cloud using PubNub server. Uh, so we have a PubNub SDK uh, programmed uh, into the launchpad. Uh, using uh, Energia, which is our fork of the open source Arduino project. So uh, a lot of the same code examples and, and libraries you might already be familiar with um, has been ported to the uh, to the Launchpad kits from Texas Instruments as well. Um, so in this case, again, we are using the PubNub library. Uh, one unique feature, however, uh, that Energia provides that uh, Arduino doesn't is multitasking. So we actually have uh, multiple tasks running in parallel. The first task is basically encoding all of our sensor data into JSON uh, using this create message function. And then we're going to go ahead and publish that JSON encoded message um, up to the PubNub server. Um, but I've got two additional tasks here and we are able to differentiate between multiple tasks by basically creating separate setup and loop pairs. So here's a setup light loop light and I have also here a setup moisture and loop moisture. So that's task one, and all it's doing is periodically reading the analog input at pin 24 and saving it to a global variable called moisture every 250 milliseconds. So four times a second, I'm getting a new moisture value, and that's an in independent task that's running um, in parallel. Um, here's the light task, and same thing, uh, getting four new sensor values, uh, in this case, pin number 23, and saving it to the global variable light. The last task uh, is basically taking those global variables and encoding it into the JSON message. Uh, so you can see here we're adding the light value and the moisture value to the JSON object. Um, and this is basically pulling those global variables, light and moisture, which are being updated by the other tasks. So these three tasks are running in parallel, uh, but you as a developer don't have to worry about it. All you have to do is set up the three independent setup loop pairs. Um, and we uh, will compile it appropriately for you uh, in the background. So in this case, we're basically getting those sensor values, encoding it to JSON, and in our main loop here, uh, in this particular task, um, we're basically just creating the latest and greatest JSON encoded message, and then ultimately publishing it up to the PubNub service. So once we have it set up to the PubNub, uh, we are able to then visualize it using Eon. Uh, Eon is a really nice, easy to use library that offers code examples for things like spline charts, uh, as you can see here, uh, but we also have um, gauges as well. So I've got both the um, ambient light sensor as well as the moisture sensor hooked up to these uh, gauges as well as a spline chart. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to cover up the ambient light sensor and you're going to see that the value will go down there in the gauge. Um, I'm going to let go and the value goes back up. So you get to see the real-time features that PubNub provides. I also have a moisture sensor here, so I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna put the moisture sensor into my uh, cup of coffee here. Um, and you're gonna see the moisture level gauge shoot up here. So let's see, dipping it into the water. And there you go, you can see that the moisture value went up. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it, and it goes back down again uh, to, to very little moisture. Um, so it works really well. So in addition to getting the real-time data readings presented here in the gauges, um, you can see that we're also getting uh, time series data here in the spline chart as well. Um, and this is all based on the uh, open source charting from uh, D3. Um, so we're able to leverage a lot of the same documentation that they provide uh, in terms of modifying these charts. Um, and it's all CSS driven, which makes it really, really easy. So all of this is available in the Hackster tutorial. Uh, so definitely take a look and you'll be able to recreate both the embedded hardware setup that I've got going here, as well as my uh, server side, cloud side dashboard. Um, so again, this is using the TI Launchpad and the PubNub cloud service. Uh, so thank you for watching.